you about science. What science is it? That will be our topic today. We'll talk about the vocabulary and how to form a sentence with it. First is size. So, size is how big or how small something is. So, size. I will ask to ask a sentence to make a question. Then we will start with what. And then followed by size. And then is. Followed by a noun. This it. That will be a question. But we can change this it into an other noun. Measure is to find out or say how big or small thing is. Something is. Measure is a verb. So we measure things using a ruler. A ruler is a straight piece of plastic, metal or wood that you use to measure things. So here is a ruler. Ruler is a noun. So to make sentence with it, we might say, I have a ruler. This is a ruler. Very simple. Next is big. Big is an adjective. Big means a great of size, like elephants or a dinosaur. We might say, an elephant is very big, or a dinosaur is very big. Well, they is also bigger. Bigger is the superlative noun of big. Next is large. Large is also the same meaning as big. So for every sentence that we can make with big, we can replace it with the word large. Also with other words like huge, enormous. Enormous is very big. Small means the opposite of big, which is little. If you see a mouse in a cartoon, cherry, then you know it is very small. So we call that small. Well, if we say smaller, that is the comparative adjective of small. So smaller and bigger comparing. So we might say smaller means something is smaller than something. Bigger means a thing is bigger than something. For example, an elephant is bigger than a mouse. But an elephant is smaller than a whale. So we might use sentences like that. Deep is an adjective. Deep means going down a long way, the opposite of shallow. So there might be a sea if you meet the Mariana Trench, then you might know it is very deep. This is the deepest point. You might see they hear that. You might hear they say that. Well, the Mariana Trench is very deep. That's a sentence. Or we might say the beach is very deep. So deep means going down, mostly say about water, very long way. The opposite of shallow. Shallow means something like this. This means shallow. Not much water with it, no hate. So we might say, this place has barely has even water. So it is very shallow. Next is grow. Grow is to become bigger. For example, we grow up every day. We say, I grow up every day with eating. So, big grow is to become bigger. Shrink means to become smaller. The opposite of growing. There are some things that scientists also use to shrink down. Next is heavy. Heavy means weighing a lot. So hard to lift. We might say an elephant is very heavy. A table is very heavy. Or even this book here is very heavy. So we might say that. Which is the opposite of light? Light is the opposite. A feather, a paper, something that is not much power used to lift them up. We call that light. A paper is very light. It's light. The number 10 is tall. Tall means we are talking about a person or a tree. It is an adjective. We might say, that guy is very tall, or that tree is very tall. Which is equal to high. High means deep from top to bottom. But high here, we might come with the word very. So we might say very high, or too high. Next is hate. Hate means how high or tall something is. Hate. Hate means how high. We usually measure in centimeters, which I use in this ruler. We might use this to measure a pencil. We might use this to measure our board. 
we might use it to measure how long, how tall I am. But to measure a person, we usually use a tape measure. So that's a little bit different. Next is long. Long means be from end to end. Now note this. Long means like this. But high means like this. Height. Short. The opposite of long. Small from end to end. Or top to bottom. Short doesn't mean like this, but it also means like this, a very small size. A mouth is very short. A pig is a little bit high. Thick. Thick is between two flat surfaces or all around. So this, as I said before, I say that this book is heavy, but also because it is very thick. As you can see, there are lots and lots of pages between. Thick means the opposite of thin. Thin means there are not a lot of pages between two surfaces. There's not much to carry around, so usually thin that might be very light. Next is 14. 14 is wide. Big from side to side. We usually say this as an avenue. An avenue is a very large road. So we go up here, this avenue which is very large, we call it wide. If we're standing on something that is big but we don't use big, we use wide. So the avenue is very big. The opposite of wide is narrow. Narrow means small from side to side. So narrow is like this. We might use that to a hamlet. A hamlet is very narrow so we call that hamlet is very narrow, or we say that tunnel is very narrow. So that's the last word for today's topic. What's that?